Yeah, so a lot of people ask me with the new year coming in, you know, a lot of people want to make, uh, you know, healthy new year resolution. But one must be aware of uh, their risk factors, of their, uh, you know, risk propensity for heart disease. So, like I said earlier, uh, people who, who are at a particular physical activity level, the lot, most of us are couch potatoes, we are not really physically active. Now, all of a sudden, because of a new year resolution or, or a change in mind, if you decide that from tomorrow I'm going to become active, do not pursue it before checking your risk factor profile, which is why, you know, which is what we advise, because you hear of a lot of people suffering cardiac events when they do exertional or sudden <laughs> exertional cardiac activity. So we always advise that you do a risk pro profiling, go to your doctor, get your risk factors checked like hypertension, diabetes, your cholesterol levels, etc., your exercise capacity by doing a medical uh, a cardiac stress test like a treadmill test and only once you clear those should you then plan a change in your activity. So even people who are, ex who are regularly exercising, if they want to up titrate their uh, level of ex exertion, so whenever there is a change in your physical activity level, you should always evaluate, get yourself tested, make sure that it is safe to do. So similarly with diabetics, you know, people who have risk factors for the heart disease like diabetes, we advise that any diabetic who wants to change his lifestyle, who wants to change his level of physical activity should undergo a medical examination. It's similar to somebody who's going for a Kailash Yatra, he gets a health evaluation done and then he goes for the Kailash Yatra or an Amarnath Yatra or Vaishnava Devi uh, Yatra. So this is similar to that. Before you, when you, before you change your physical activity level, always get examined and tested get yourself medically certified. Sir, sir, what's your thing like, you know, for example, people who are smokers, like passive smokers, they immediately want to quit smoking and they want to have a new solution. How should they, they should also have some criteria to go around, how is it, sir? No, so people who are, who have any addiction to, you know, the, the uh, what is recommended, what, what we see in our uh, practices, if you have somebody who's addicted to nicotine or tobacco and they have to quit, you are successful if you quit immediately. There is no, there is no, uh, uh, there's no truth in the saying that you gradually reduce the dose, reduce the amount of smoking and then you quit. Such people rarely quit. If you have to quit smoking, you make up your mind, the person who is, who is addicted has to do that. He has to put in the effort and st stop smoking. If you are struggling due to long years of uh, addiction, take professional help and it's never too late. Stop smoking when you, you know, immediately.